sort of reverse parody of what was it? A scary movie. We did get a little bit teary eyed there. I don't know why it's the damn dust I was cleaning out. But anyway, you see this daunting light behind me. Well, got a little bit of a surprise, so I should kill that light off again. Just so you guys can see me for now. Alright, so I'll try to give you guys a good, decent view of the 100% completed gaming closet of goodness. Or the awesome gaming closet, as I call it. So, here you go. Anytime, though. Power on, you evil bastard. There we go. So, you just, you just gotta be firm with your lights. But, here we go. A couple of uh, magazines up there. Some of those are gonna go put away. That noose I'll hang myself after. I was trying to hang my trying to do a suicide attempt after playing Baby's Kids. Didn't go out too well because the beam didn't hold out. So sorry to tell you guys, I am still gonna be around for a little bit longer. Uh, a couple additions here. Amy, of course, is also trying to commit suicide, but I'm gonna blow on suicide watch for her pretty soon. I got the PSP, which I gotta move that. Over here. So, there we go. Got my PSP sitting over there. On top of this bookcase, which my mother donated to me for my gaming closet. Now, of course, my probably is probably contemplating going, Why is he, he always getting shelves? How come I don't get shelves in my goddamn closet? I got one long strip of a goddamn closet shelf. And this motherfucker gets more shelves than freaking Sh Shaza Banks. See? There you go. He's gonna call up right now. He's calling right now to lay down the law for me. He's gonna tell my ass off. He's gonna lay down the law. He's like, no more! On the American dream, Dusted Dan Van Dam. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna ignore that. Please go away. <laughs> no, we're not here. Go to hell. Anyway, so, a couple extra additions. Oh, what's that? Look, it's a Mario. I sound a little bit like Wario just now, didn't I? But, anywho, no real actual additions too much other than the Mario being here. That same old poster being there. A couple extra boxes I stuffed back there. That thing as you've seen before, or the cassette case. This I can still obviously go through and fix that and get that all levied up. Organize a few other things, clean up a few other things, put something back there, which now i got space to put something back there. Let's see if I can, contemplating if I should do that after. Oh, it's nothing. But, alright, so I'm going to show you a little bit of the shelf here, what I did to it. Then I'll play a little bit of Penguin Land. Next video. Ha 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 ha. Sorry, Super Danny Neat. You have to wait. But, okay, I'm from Leeds. How you doing? I'm from Leeds. It's fucking amazing in here. It is sweltering hot. Like the Queen's sweaty hot vagina. No offense to anyone who's British. None taken. Peachy. Okie dokie. As I bury my grave. The fold out chair as always. This is my nerd recliner, as I call it. Oh. So now I'm a little bit further away from the TV, which is good for my eyesight. Other than, you know, standard editions. Got my remote sitting here. Got my GameCube and PS2 games sitting in there for now. Got my limited edition Resident Evil Chainsaw Controller. That little bitch still works. 
got my limited or well, my boxed copy of Lunar 2 Internal Complete. The box got a little bit of scuffed up and a little bit, eh. I don't want to get into it. I'm quite angry about that still. Because someone put some tape underneath it and I tried to pull it off and it, yeah, you, you get the point. <laughs> Not too happy about that. And that wasn't the guy who put the tape in there either. But, okay, so. Got ourselves a real good time. Got some of my loose carts. I still gotta find the other carts for this. They're sitting around in my house somewhere. Some loose carts in my Sega Master System games. Got my boxed Sega Genesis games all across this shelf. All of the cases for my Sega Master System in here. My mint copy of the Aztec Adventure, which is probably one of the only mint games I have nowadays, sadly. <coughs> Sorry. Got my Game Boy Advance games on their, in their cases. Game Boy, Game Boy Color, yada yada. Got all the cases in here. And got some of my computer games like Titan's Quest and Immortal Throne. Here, Guild Wars, Factions, and Nightfall. I actually got Nightfall, like, uh, Factions, rather, for, like, $10. So I remember getting that, like, it was brand new and everything, and I was pretty happy. It's the most shittiest game in the world for the PC. Monster Madness. Really bad game. People says, well, give it a chance. Ignore the bad controls. Well, the controls are shit. I'm, I, I just can't play the game. I mean, it had a really good concept, I thought, but... I can't be asked to play it. No offense anyone who actually likes the damn game. I just don't like it. <laughs> but, other than that, I uh, really just have my consoles and all that somewhat back here now. I was thinking about putting my 360 in this closet, but then that's kind of pushing it. <laughs> Not enough space in this closet. Even the gaming closet of goodness has its limits. Well, yeah, which is time to show part four of Sexy Leg. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, dude, I can't, I can't watch a video anymore. Your hairy fat leg is making me want to vomit in my mouth. Boop. Too late. But, anywho, got my little thing here to kick up my feet. Obviously, I'm going to move this chair a little bit, a little more towards the shelf, and I'll be able to have my... Well, the TV's not as small as it looks on the camera, but I'm going to play some good old games on there. Got my tripod, so when I do my filming, I'll be right there in front of the TV. I can kick back in the background and just, you know, play the game from a distance and enjoy it. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will be putting up some more soon, and again, peace the fuck out. Yo.